Hi everyone, welcome back. The time has come to switch binders. I thought of staying in this binder for May because it's it's just going really well and it's so pretty. I'm loving, loving everything about it. But the pink is calling me. It is calling my name. So my, this is my vintage Aurora. And in March, I was in this Sailor, uh, the Anna binder. This is an Anna binder as well. This is the pale pink Anna binder which this shade of pink is perfection. So I thought of going in this one again, but I don't know. I've been missing my vintage Aurora and I just this, I just love the strap. I do, even though I can zip or um, I can snap this closed, like it's tight, see? Like it's not supposed to curl up like that. And it squishes my tabs and so I don't close it unless I'm taking it out of the house. But you know what? There's a couple times that I put it in my bag out and about and I actually lost this pen for a while. Ryan found it um, on the driver's side of the car in between the center console and the seat. And I think it must have been when I had the car and I had my binder out and I was planning. And then I put it back in my bag and I didn't notice the pen was missing because if it's not secure, it, it, it can fall out. It's my own fault though. I can like I can do that right that will secure it if I put the clip over the elastic but I don't I just keep it loose <laughs> so it's my own fault but anyways um yeah so I just thought you know what let's let's do it let's do it so I've got my hex key I need the two two millimeter just so you know if you have a Franklin Covey compact binders the two millimeter hex code is how you remove your rings so that's what I'm going to do I went through my stash so I have this Ray Dunn cosmetics bag um, and I keep my DIY stuff in here so I was going through thinking what do I want to use um, and just you know reuse some beautiful sterling ink dashboards that I've made or dividers and these jeans agenda ones were in there I, I don't know how they ended up in there because they're not diy but i'm like you know what i have not used these in so long i think i'm gonna try it i'm gonna put them in i made this a while ago it's craft paper folder and i haven't really been able to use this because when i laminate dashboards it's usually too bulky so we'll see how this goes because it's i mean once stuff is in in this it, it adds some bulk so we'll see We'll see if it works. As you can see, um, I am using an old tripod because my um, tripod, my newer tripod is at my cottage and we're not going back. We're at a home here for a week because work is just getting really busy and it's not allowing us to leave the city. So I am improvising. So I apologize if it's not the regular. I'm looking through the camera as I'm doing this and it doesn't look that far away, but at the same time I feel it's kind of far away compared to what my videos have looked like um, with my new tripod because I can get a lot closer and I don't have any legs in the way. So it's annoying, but at least I have something. Now I see how dirty this is, but I'm too impatient. I'm not gonna clean it this round. I'll clean it next round. I just wanna get her set up. Okay. Oh, it feels so good to be back. So these rings actually came with this binder. So whenever I do use my Anna binders, they come with one inch silver rings, but the one inch are way too small for me. So I always take them out and put the one and a quarter inch rings that come with the vintage Aurora. So yeah, it feels good to be back. Feels good to be back. All right, let's get everything in here. So 
think I'm going to start from the back and work my way forward. I love these soft colors in the pink with the pink. It's perfection. And you know what? It's interesting that even though the rings were the same in here, this lays flat in this binder, but it didn't really lay flat in this one. I don't know. I don't know how that works, but let me stand up and see. I like it. I like it. And the tabs... Yeah, this is good. The tabs don't stick out as far as my other ones. So because they're laminated as well, they hang over. I don't know if you can see that. See, this is the Jane's Agenda tab, and then this is my tab that I made. Um, so I like that these are not as big. And in fact, next time I do a DIY, I'm going to use these as my stencil because I like, I like, um, I like the size. I love how the lace is peeking out there. And then I have another lace here. So I don't know if that's adding more bulk than what I want, but let's put some stuff in here. I'm going to put my stencils here. That way they're easy to get. In the other folder here, I found myself having to, to like dig for them. And then the um, glue, double-sided tape glue that I had in here, I don't know. They, they, they were able to poke through and so they would get stuck and I'd have to play with them to get them out. So I think I'm going to like this better. Now this, this um, pen loop is um, more stretched than in my Sailor Blue binder or even my other Anna binder and my other vintage Auroras. This is a used, this pink one here was um, pre-loved. So the previous owner probably had a really thick marker or pens in here and it stretched it. Um, so yeah, so I will have to make sure that I clasp that so that my pen doesn't fall out. Okay, now let's get some lace in here. Reading list. Every time, every day I open my binder and look at that, I'm like, oh, I gotta start reading again. <laughs> I started the year off pretty good, and then when life gets busy, I falls by the wayside. So I love having something in here because um, I write with fountain pen. So if I write and it's not dry yet, I like to put something in between so I can close my binder right away. And it just rubs right off of here. Um, so I think I'll keep these. They're so pretty, even though they don't, I mean, I guess they can kind of match the Jane's Agenda dividers, eh? I mean, I don't think that looks bad. I'm going to keep them for now. I have two. I've got a bigger one and a smaller one, but I do use both of them because it's all like I'm in my binder a lot and in different sections. So I like to have more than one and I love this crown peeking out. So if it's an area that I want to get back to um, pretty quickly, I just leave it poking up so I can find that page easily. Okay, so that's that. Now the only thing with these is that I don't have my subsections. So, I mean, in my goals tab, I would because this takes me right to my quarterly goals and then this bookmark takes me to this quarter, right? 
but I don't have anything in here separating my um, trackers to meetings, except I guess I have the vellum. Um, and then for my social media, I have this vellum. Because I did think of continuing to use what I had in here, right? But then these side tabs are not labeled. So then I was like, well, how does that look if the top and bottom ones are labeled? And these are, uh, I mean, it's just printer paper that's laminated. So it's not that thick, but it, it could add, I mean, if I have four of them, right? It, it could add up to extra bulk. I think the only one that I really care about is getting to this week. Yeah, see, that would add, that's like equivalent to like three pages, I think, um, is in my schedule section. I guess I don't really need one. Typically, I have one for this month, but I can just go here to my tab to go to the current month. But then to get to today, I have my today marker here with the bow. I just love the bow. Um, but to get to the current month, I'll figure it out. I think I'm gonna leave it as is for now. Just simplify it and not have so many tabs. Um, yeah. Get put my cards in there. I got this beautiful charm from Michaels that I added to this. It just fits this binder so well. But then I thought, well, how would that look in here? It's blue. I bought two when I went to Michael's. I have one that is, um, but it's not here. It's at the cottage. It's a um, a lock and key. Oh, I don't even have a zipper here. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Try this side. Um, it's a lock and key. It's so pretty and it's pink. Yeah, I think that's blue, right? So I don't have enough blue in here to make that make that work. I don't think. And then it'll just be covered anyways. I don't know. Oh, I do like that though. I might leave it for now and then when, when I get back to the cottage, I will play around with it. Um, so I usually kept these on the inside zipper of my Anna binder. So I might have to, I feel it's gonna be too bulky if I put them in there. So I think I'll just put them back here. And then I did have sticky notes in the back. So these can probably go in here. I don't, I gotta fix that. I don't like that. How did I not glue that part? Yeah, I'll have to fix that. But anyways, I think that's, I think that will be okay. Yeah. And then for the window, I do have my sterling ink my May kit here. So I did a, a video where I opened my subscription kit and I was like, what are these flowers called? And somebody commented and said she thinks that they're wisteria. And I was like, yes, I think that's it. They're so pretty. Um, but do they match? Do they match is the question. So this is an old, like I got this uh, with one of my Kate Spade purchases ages ago. So I thought it's kind of perfect to put in here. So I don't have, um, like when I put my card in here, there's no black on either side. So it's, but how do we like that? I am going to, when I get to the cottage, I'm gonna be trimming these to put in here. I might make, uh, I think I'll make a tab divider out of one side and then the other side, I'll just keep regular vellum to um, accent. So then, then this could work. They're just too pretty to not use, you know? And then, you know what I thought of? So I don't know if I shared this on YouTube or if it was just on Instagram. I did an Instagram reel. I can't remember if I uploaded it as a YouTube short, 
but with some older um, thank you cards. I made them into page finders and then I just used whiteout tape to um, cover up all the writing and then just decorated it with the stickers that came with the kit. And oh, I just love it. So then I thought, well, I could use this then. I could use these instead of having an actual, like a full, um, a full tab divider. So this is for meetings and then I can just put it on my last sheet that I was using. So I could do that. I'll just have to move them though so that they're not, so that they are somewhat staggered. So I could do that. So that's the meeting section. And then I have social media and I made quite a bit. I think I did four of them. Oh gosh, I have to find them. I think I just put them all in here. I got these um, plastic envelopes a long time ago off Amazon and I love them. I use them for all of my, all these cards that you get from shops, from your orders. And I love them. So I will have them linked below. Where on earth did I put those? Oh, they're in here. They're in there. Now let's see which ones, because you want them to match. Now I didn't I didn't do this one because this is like my absolute favorite. Roses are my favorite and the pink. Um because I I can I can use that in the window anytime. So let's see. I did these ones. But did I do any of these? I don't think. Oh, I did that one. That was it. And none of these match. This one can match though. Oh, I didn't, did I do that one? I think I started, but I didn't finish it. You can kind of see, um, it's just pencil. Oh, I did go over it a bit with an X-Acto knife, but I didn't cut all the way through. I like that idea. What do you guys think? I could use those instead of having, but I don't, I just don't want too many. I like this because it takes me right here. But then does this match? Does that match? It's so pretty. It came in a Jane's Agenda subscription box. I, I'm obsessed with it. I love it. It was perfect in the um, sailor blue. And the reason I haven't used it yet is because I'm always in my pink binder. But I don't know. What do you guys I think? You know, I think it's okay. I think it's, yeah, I think it's good. It's so pretty. And it's summer. So spring, summer, butterflies. Um, yeah, so I have this that takes me to my quarterly goals. This takes me to the current quarter. And this will take me to my meetings. Um, I don't necessarily need something for the social media. I'm in the meeting one more than I am the social media. And then this takes me to today. I don't really need something for this month. But what I do like is having something that takes me to the current week. Because... I find I can forget to look at this unless there's something that takes me here. So could I, could I have something that takes me right here and just have it poking out there? It's actually really pretty. I think I'll leave it for now. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, that's not too bad. They're not too close together. So I know that that takes me to this week. This takes me to my meetings. I think that's good. <coughs> I've been wanting to simplify my binder for a while now. So this feels good. I'm not sure if I'm gonna turn that into a page finder. I might, cause it is like, it's perfect. It's so stunning. So was that one. And you know what? I could. If it is like you, I could use one that I've turned into a bookmark in here. When I, 
you know, when I'm not using it as an actual like page finder. It's not that big of a deal. I'll give it some thought, but for now, I like this. Oh my gosh, this binder is perfection, you guys. If you can ever get your hands on a vintage Aurora, I highly recommend it. It's by Franklin Planner. Every time I post, I get the most questions with this binder and the pink, the other pink one, the, the um, Anna binder. When I post pictures, I get the most questions on what is this binder and where can I get one? So yeah, I highly recommend their unicorns. That looks pretty there. Where did I have this before? I do not remember. Yeah, so if you're kind of new here, you probably haven't seen these dividers. I have used them quite a bit in the past, but it has been a while. So these are from Jane's Agenda. Now, Jane's Agenda no longer does the personal wide size. That's the size of inserts that I have in this binder. They no longer do personal wide size or B6, unfortunately. So if you were in a personal size, a half letter, um, A5, I think, Happy Planner Classic and Happy Planner Mini, she has all of those sizes, but she doesn't have the personal wide. So she does still have these dividers and she has... Um, a, I think the same print, but 12 tabs and they're for the 12 months of the year. They're gorgeous. Um, so I'm so glad I snagged these when I did. I got these a few years ago when she was offering personal wide size. So I feel very lucky that I have these. Um, and it just feels good. Like these soft colors are so pretty in here. Oh my gosh. I love them. Um, but yeah, if you have not ordered from um, Jane's Agenda before and you want to get your hands on some of her beautiful products, I do have a discount code below if it is your first purchase. And if it's not your first per purchase, I do have a, a link um, where I make a small commission, no charge to you. Um, it just helps me, helps support so that I can continue to purchase stuff to, you know, share with you guys. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy. I, I was thinking of like, do I mix things up here? But this is working and I'm just, I'm not going to mess with that. I love having this quote here from Winston Churchill. This came in a Jane's Agenda subscription box. And I love it's the typewriter font, which is my favorite. And then I love this that I printed out. I think I got this off Pinterest. You can see the watermark is still on it. <laughs> but I just love, I love this. Engaging in seemingly impossible activities and achieving success in a matter in a manner that renders all onlookers completely awestruck. Like, I just love that so much. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave that there. And these I made. Um, these are my goals for the year, and then these this here is um like related to my human design. So these are good reminders to read and look at on a regular basis. And these cards came from Jane's Agenda. No, they didn't. They came from cloth and paper many years ago. I don't think um, they still have them. But anyway, stay tuned for a flip. I feel like it's been a while since I've done a detailed flip of my binder to share where everything is from. So I should have done one when I was in the Sailor Blue. I just didn't, I just didn't have the time. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And stay tuned. My next video will be recapping the month of April and setting things up for May. All right. So if you have any questions, please let me know. And thank you so much for watching. And we will see you in the next video. Bye.